How would y'all like it if I told y'all y'all could keep your kitchen clean but have supper ready by the time you get home at the end of the day? Well, I'm getting ready to show you five of the best crock pot recipes ever. And today's video is extra special because it is in collaboration with my sweet friend Carla McKenzie over at Rooster's Recipe. So please make sure y'all go over and give her some love because she is amazing. And if you're coming over from her channel, hey, I'm Sammy and welcome to my kitchen where I share all kinds of crock pot recipes or just recipes in general. So let's get to cooking y'all. Sit back and relax and let me do the cooking. Come on, let's go. So we are getting ready to make some crack chicken um, in the crock pot. So for this to start out with, you'll have to have some chicken breast. Mine are still frozen, which is perfectly fine. A block of cream cheese, one packet of ranch seasoning mix. And of course, y'all know I'm going to come in with some video complete. If you can't tolerate this, um, you can use Cavenders, Nature Seasoning, or any kind of a complete seasoning that you would want. You'll also need to throw in some bacon bits. So I've just took these out of my fridge. We're gonna throw some of those in. And then once we get home, we're gonna to top it with some sharp cheddar cheese and then some green onions to finish it off. But let's go ahead and get everything in to a sprayed crock pot or a lined crock pot. And put our chicken breast in here as good as you can since they are still froze. It ain't gonna hurt nothing now. I did just mix up a little bit of chicken broth and just, a, you know, maybe like an eighth of a cup of water, if that. <laughs> We're just gonna go ahead and pour that straight over the chicken and the bottom of it because this is gonna make a lot of broth because of the chicken being frozen. So don't worry with it not having any kind of liquid in there. There is a little bit now, but it's gonna make a ton more. So now we're just gonna come on in with our Badia Complete and our ranch that all over the chicken. And then I'm gonna cut my cream cheese up into four blocks and we're gonna put that on top of each piece of chicken. Now we're gonna sprinkle in about a half a cup to a cup of bacon bits. I love bacon, so <laughs> it'll probably be more towards like three quarters of a cup. Just gonna throw the lid on. This is gonna cook on low for four to six hours. I've got mine set for five. All right, so I'm home and it is time to get this mixed together. That will come off because it's sprayed. But we're just gonna go ahead and chop this one up and get it all mixed together. So I will bring you back when it all is shredded. All right, so we have all of this shredded and mixed together and now we're gonna add in our green onions. Um, that's about a quarter cup of green onions and it's said to add about a cup and a half of shredded cheddar cheese. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and just dump all of that goodness in here and we're gonna give it a good mix. So we've got everything in there. It is all mixed together. Now you can serve this on a bun with like french fries and tater tots, which is what we're gonna do. Or you can serve it over like mashed potatoes, um, some rice, steamed broccoli, anything you wanna do. But this is so good, y'all. All friends so tonight is going to be a slow cooker creamy potato hamburger soup so you'll need some seasonings of your choice which y'all know i'm going to do badia complete you'll need some garlic salt parsley some chicken broth this is actually 32 ounces so four cups you'll need some basil some onions i just got one large onion diced up a block of cream cheese these are about three big carrots chopped up as well and then four large potatoes and then one pound of a ground beef which I've already cooked up it didn't get cooked all the way through because I'm gonna throw it in the crock pot and it'll finish cooking in there 
but this is everything that you will need. Now let's go ahead and get to putting it in the crock pot. To finish it off though, you will come in with a little bit of like heavy cream and a little bit of cornstarch in the end to kind of help thicken it up. We're gonna go ahead and spray our crock pot. Then we'll start dumping everything in. So this is ready. We're gonna go ahead and put our lid on it, set it to low anywhere from, what is it, four to six hours. We're gonna do five hours and then it'll switch over to keep warm until I get home and then we'll stir everything together and add in the um, heavy cream and the cornstarch and get this thickened up. All right, y'all, so we are home, or I'm home. <laughs> this smells delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up because that cream cheese needs to get mixed in with this. I'm gonna make our cornstarch slurry. I've got about two tablespoons of cornstarch to two tablespoons of water. And then we're gonna add in about a cup of heavy cream once this has got into the um, tater soup mixture. So I broke up that cream cheese and then we're gonna pour in this cornstarch slurry real quick. We'll give that a stir around and then we'll add that cream to it. These potatoes and carrots are cooked perfectly. Oh, I just can't rave enough about the smell of this. So if I know if it smells this good, it is gonna taste heavenly. <laughs> so I turn this crock pot back up on high for the next 30 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and add in our heavy cream. I had about a cup left in there, so I just dumped it all. We'll give that another stir, and then we'll let this sit in here and get happy for about 30 minutes on high, and then it'll be ready to eat. Here, and it did thicken up a little bit, so we're gonna go ahead and serve us on up a bowl and sit down and have supper. y'all so tonight's supper is going to be some brown beans pinto beans soup beans whatever you want to call them in the crock pot so i've let my beans soak overnight they're just the ham beans brand this right here i love their beans they are so good so i've let those soak overnight i diced up um, about a medium sized onion i saved some of the onions so i can put some fresh on top of my beans because i just love it that way I pulled out a ham hock out of the pack. I have two more left. I got to get those in the freezer. And then I always add about two to three packs of this Saison Goya. This is exactly what the box looks like on the outside as well. And then this ham flavor comes with the beans. I think that's why I like them so much. They are so good. But we are just going to take all of this and dump it in the crock pot and set it to cook for at least eight hours. Um, and after eight hours, it'll just click over to warm. But let's get these beans in this crock pot. All right, so I don't really gonna spray my crock pot for this one because it's beans. I mean, they'll be fine. I'm gonna put at least about a knuckle's worth <laughs> of water over top of these. Um, it's about an inch to an inch and a half of water over top of your beans. Um, that way, you know you have enough water all day. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour all these seasonings in. And I know it's a little controversial to put salt in your beans while they cook, but that's how I've always done it. <laughs> Sometimes I don't put salt in there until after, but I am gonna put just a little bit of salt because this ham hock's gonna have a lot of salt in it, but I just want to make sure I have enough flavor and all this will kind of melt down in there and get real good because some of that ham flavor kind of got stuck in there. 
we're gonna dump in our onions. And the color of that Saison is just so pretty. Let me go get my salt and my pepper real quick. I don't know about y'all, but I love a big old pot of beans. And then we're gonna make some fried taters and with smoked sausage mixed in with it um, to go with these. Mm, it's gonna be a good supper tonight, y'all. So good. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna put that ham hock right down in there and put the lid on it. This is gonna cook on low for, like I said, anywhere from eight to 10 hours. It just depends on your crock pot or how much time you got. I did soak these so it won't take as long. So I'm just gonna do eight hours and then it'll cut over to keep warm until I get home. All right, y'all, so we got these beans are all done. They have cooked all day and I'm just gonna go ahead and give them a good stir around. Then we'll take that ham hock out of there and we will get that meat out and then add that back into these beans. And well, it's already falling apart. <laughs> but these are so good. All right, y'all, so these taters are doing exactly what I wanted them to do. They've got some good color starting. So we're gonna go ahead and dump that sausage right back on into that skillet. We're gonna give it a good mix. And then we're just gonna let that color continue. We're gonna be ready to eat. All right, y'all, so tonight's supper, we're gonna make some crock pot chili, and this is everything you're gonna need. So I've got two packs of the Chilio seasoning, so I've got two pounds of ground beef that I'm gonna be using. Then you'll need some vegetable juice, V8 juice, whatever you got. This is just the store brand of the V8 juice. I use a whole can, the large um, one pound, 12 ounce. It's a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, some great Northern beans, dark red kidney beans, black beans, and then two cans of chili beans, one pack of the beefy onion soup mix, one whole onion, that's about a medium onion chopped up, and then the two pounds of ground beef, I just browned it up and added some seasonings to it. So now we're gonna go ahead and dump everything in to a sprayed crock pot. First things first, we're gonna dump our ground beef in there, that whole onion on top of that, both packets of the Chili O seasonings, packet of beefy onion soup mix. And now we're just gonna dump in all the beans and all the yumminess. And when I dump in these beans, I don't drain them. I just dump them. <laughs> it's extra flavor. It helps make the broth of the chili as well. Just wanted to throw that out there. All right, also we've got everything added into the crock pot. I'm just gonna carefully give this a stir. That way everything is mixed together. And then it'll just cook on low for about eight to 10 hours as long as you need it to and whenever you get home from work or at the end of the day when you're ready for supper it's gonna be ready all you gotta do is fix some cornbread or some biscuits whatever you want with it but y'all this is some of the best chili ever and I used about a half a bottle of that um, V8 juice just to kind of give you an idea we like to drink it anyway so it is not gonna go to waste but that is it for this chili. We're gonna go ahead and put our lid on it and let it cook on down. All right, y'all, so I'm home from work. We're gonna go ahead and give this a stir. And everybody wants something different, so I'm not gonna make cornbread with it. I'm just gonna make what anybody else wants. Grilled cheese, or like I said this morning, peanut butter and honey is my favorite, but does this not look delicious? So we serve ours up with um, sour cream and cheese and all that good stuff. So I'll bring you back when it's ready and in the bowl. So for supper tonight, we're gonna make Mississippi meatballs. And for this, you'll just need either pepperoncinis like the original recipe calls for, or you can use the mild banana pepper rings like we use. 
and you'll need some butter, not the whole stick, but I use about four to five tablespoons, probably only four on this one. Then you'll need a package of ranch, a packet of au jus, and some meatballs. You can make them homemade if you want to, but I don't have enough time this morning. I never have enough time. <laughs> so we're just gonna use these. I need to just make a big batch of my homemade meatballs and freeze them. But for today, this will work. So let's get this thrown into the crock pot. All right, y'all, so whole bag of meatballs, <laughs> the whole jar of banana peppers, because I love them. I did drain about half the juice off though, maybe a third of the juice. Kind of spread those around a little bit. Next goes the ranch packet. I'm just gonna try to get this all over them. Same for the au jus, because I won't be stirring this. And now we're gonna cut the about four to six tablespoons of butter. Now we're just gonna put our lid on. We're gonna cook this on a low for four to six hours, just depending. I'll probably do five hours on these and then it'll click over to keep warm until I get home from work this evening. All right, so I'm home from work. These have been on to keep warm. We're just gonna Give them a stir around. They smell really good. <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and boil some potatoes and make some mashed potatoes real quick, mashed taters. And these are gonna go right on top of it. All right, so the taters are all cut up. I've got them in water. I'm gonna grab my beef bouillon, add some of that and a little bit of salt. And we're just gonna let those go. And then I cream them with a half a block of cream cheese and some heavy whipping cream and a little bit of sour cream if I need it. But that's all that goes into my potatoes along with some butter, of course, because butter makes everything better. And we'll get these right, made up. We got our half a stick of butter and a half a block of cream cheese. I'm gonna go ahead and drain these taters, dump it on there and let it sit and then we'll start mashing. y'all that is it for this video i truly hope it gave you some new ideas of some new crock pot recipes to make for you or your family and if you are in need of prayer please let me know below i would be honored to pray for you all and until next time make sure y'all go check out rooster's recipe and show carla mckenzie some love until next time god bless bye